I'll show you how to do the shine effect on a logo or text. Drag your logo into the timeline. You'll want to turn it into a component clip. You can do this by right-clicking the clip and selecting it, or by holding down the Option key and the letter G key on a Mac. Next, you will copy and paste the clip into the overlay above it and make sure they are lined up exactly. Perfection. Now with the top clip selected, I will go to the menu on the right hand side of the screen. First I will click on the adjustment tab and under the basic menu I will scroll down to the brightness scale. I will pull the brightness and white scales all the way to the right. Now I will return to the video menu tab. Then click the mask tab and select the rectangle option. Now I will use the rectangle mask to adjust how big I want the shine effect to be. I will also add a slight feather to it to add to the effect. Now I will place the box at the starting point where I want the effect to begin. I am going to use the keyframe under the mask box to map out the movement in the clip. Wherever your cursor is in the timeline is where the first keyframe will be added once clicked. And I will move my cursor to where I want the next keyframe to be. Once my cursor is in the next position, we'll click the keyframe button again under mask. Now I will position the rectangle where I want the movement to end at that keyframe point. And when I press play, I should see a smooth movement of the effect on the preview screen. Perfection. Now I will show you the process you can follow to do this with text. Drag some default text into the timeline. Then edit the text to your liking. You can also edit the color of the text too. And now follow the same process for creating a compound clip of the text box in the timeline. This transforms the text into a clip and the text cannot be changed once this is done and adjust brightness and whites under the Adjustments tab. Now go back to the Video tab and click on the Masks option. Add the rectangle and keyframes as before. This time, I'll make it go left to right. And there you have it. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please take the time to like, comment and subscribe as it helps us to further please our YouTube overlords. Check out more links in the description for continued assistance on your CapCut projects and please keep your arms and legs inside the craft until it comes to a complete stop. Be sure to mind your headspace and watch your step as you exit. Failure to comply may result in serious injury or death. We will see you next time Comet Creators, end transmission.